Hey Gliders, LPS Sugar Glider here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys all the customs that I made for Valentine's Day. So this first custom is actually one that I made, I think, around no early November. It was originally supposed to be in a winter custom drop, but I got so, so busy with school during November and December, so I wasn't able to make any other customs for it. Um, and this is it. So it's a little cardinal, like I was saying, it was supposed to be originally for a Christmas custom, but I think it still works pretty well for a Valentine's Day custom, just because of the red and then the heart eyes. And yeah, I used a uh, woodpecker mold for this one, which I think works out so well for cardinals. And overall, I'm just really, really happy with this one. I think he turned out so, so cute. After that is actually my first custom of 2024, and it is this adorable little frog custom. The frogs are kind of difficult to film, but I was just very inspired by like basic Valentine's Day colors. I really like uh, kind of the aesthetic of that and it always makes me really happy to see any stuffed animals or just kind of toys like that in stores, um, which is why I wanted to make a bunch of Valentine's Day customs with LPS. They're just definitely my favorite type of themed customs to do. I think they're just so, so cute and I'm just really, really happy with this guy. I think his feet are so cute and I just, I think he's so cute, like he's adorable. <laughs> Next up is a mold that I've actually had for a while and I haven't really known what to do with it before and it is this puffin mold. So I didn't really have any um, big five pets to customize this Valentine's Day. So a lot of these are more uncommon molds, but I'm actually really, really happy um, with that. And I've had a lot of fun painting these molds, especially this one. I just love how big the eyes are. Like they were just so fun to paint and I'm just really happy with how she turned out. I think she's just really, really cute. And I, yeah, I think she just looks really good. I'm just really happy with how she turned out. So next up is actually a G7 pet. So I bought um, this pack specifically for this rhino. I bought it again because I thought a strawberry rhino would be so, so cute. I think the horn is perfect for a chocolate covered strawberry. And I just, I love this one. I think this is my favorite one out of all of them. It's just so, so cute. I just, I think all the colors and just the overall design just works together so well. And I literally love it so much. It's definitely my favorite custom I've done so far. And I was just really happy with how the eyes came out, especially the eyelashes and just all the little details on it. I think it just is, uh, I just love it. <laughs> Fourth up is another mold that I have had for a while and I honestly did not know if I would even be able to customize this mold just because whoever like had it, I, I bought it damaged and it was just like caked with like layers and layers of other paints. So I had a very difficult time um, getting the paint off and like ugh, it was just such a nightmare. But I absolutely am so happy that I did because I think this one turned out so cute. So this is a lightning bug or a firefly um, LPS mold. I actually don't have any of this mold other than this damaged one that I had. Um, and I actually really, really liked it. And I uh, sculpted these uh, hearts on it, uh, on the antennas. And it's inspired by Sweetheart's Candy. Um, and I just, I'm so happy with how she turned out. I had a lot of fun painting her also. Um, similar also just because I loved painting her eyes. I tried to go for a little bit more of like a cutesy um, eye style and I 
am literally in love with them <laughs> like they're just so so cool i i'm i'm definitely gonna be painting more eyes like this in the future and she just turned out so cute i just i love all of her colors and just kind of how everything came together in the end she has a little bit of shimmery um details on uh, this part her wings and then a little bit on the lighter part in her eyes which i just think is so cute Last up is the only dog or even Big Five pet on this list, and it is this little sweater collie. So originally, the design for this one was going to be very, very different. Um, the colors were going to be like a lot lighter, and it was going to be a lot more like feminine. Um, I was going to put like uh, bows on it, and it was just going to have like a bunch of hearts all over it. But um, when I mixed the colors, I got this darker color, and the custom just kind of became this <laughs> as I was painting it. I didn't really have a plan for it, but I'm really happy with how he turned out. I think he's just so cute. And yeah, I don't do a lot of like darker, darker customs, as you can probably tell by all the other ones in this video, but I'm actually really happy with how he turned out. I struggled a bit painting his eyes just because I was not very used to painting the smaller eyes that are on, um, uh, collies and uh, the eyelashes I couldn't do black paint just because it blended in too much with his uh, fur color but I'm pretty happy with how he turned out I think he's so cute I love his colors and just overall design he's adorable <laughs> So these are all of my Valentine's Day customs. Let me know which one you guys like the most. They will be up for sale on my Etsy um, around the time that this video comes out. Hopefully if all goes well. <laughs> so if you want to check them out, you can check them out on Etsy or you can check out my Instagram where I post photos and videos of all of them. And my Instagram is LPS Sugar Glider and my Etsy is Little Glider Customs. Again, thank you so much for watching this video. Bye!